What is up with it, everybody? Welcome back to Iona Rocket League. As they face off in another out-of-conference matchup against Virginia Wesleyan University. Iona coming off a very, very bad sweep at the hands of Maryland. I don't even... They didn't lead once in that matchup and it seems like most of the time they had a multi-goal deficit by the time a minute passed by on the clock but the Gales do hope to bounce back in their nine o'clock matchup against VWU. We're gonna wait here for a minute for all of the things to be sorted out. as we will shortly be in to a game, and then after we're in the game, we're gonna get into some action here very, very shortly. All right, it appears we are going to be getting into some Rocket League action very shortly as the players file in. We are currently in the lobby. We are in the waiting room on the map as the players start to file in. And kickoff will come very shortly and we are underway as the first kickoff is won by VWU. JP gonna try taking it in for Iona, but Jalen going to knock it away. DJ gonna try knocking it down. Trying to clear it out, but Jalen gonna take it in. JP clears it away, but not a duck is going to hold it in. 
Dundee. Trying to make a play on it. Gets it out. DJ going to fire it in. But not a duck. He's going to clear it very nicely. But JP going to fire it. But it gets knocked into the corner. Jalen going to take it into the corner. Oh, a big deflection could have been trouble. But DJ is going to play it away as he fires it down. Scores! DJ the captain, one nothing Ayana. Wow. After dominance, just a lot of offensive pressure. The Gales take a one nothing lead as DJ going to center it. But it was a complicated angle for Stone D as JP keeps it in. Stone D, nope. Oh, this could have been trouble. JP going to center it to himself. No, but D, no, not DJ. Stone D going to hold the zone rather. DJ moving around. Not a duck going to fire it in, but Stone D makes a save on the tough hop. DJ going to clear it out. JP makes a play on it. Jalen going to knock it in. And Braided Axe going to fire it wide. Oh, and the guy, I think he DC'd. Did he DC? No, he didn't DC. I just saw him disappear randomly. Maybe, I don't know, maybe my eyes are tricking me. But regardless, play has not stopped. It is going to be... A potential opportunity for VWU that goes wide. And this one goes wide as well. About halfway through this one is this shot. Goes off the crossbar and the rebound goes in. Braided Axe, we are tied at one. DJ pinched. JP couldn't make the play. On the initial shot, and Breeded Axe with a wide open net. And just about anybody could finish that one. As Iona takes it in, JP whiffed on it. DJ, going to fire him. And the sounding try goes wide. Stoney gets it over a defender. Stoney. But, it is going to be taken out. No, a shot goes all the way down! No, Stoney got to it. And now JP going to make a play on it. Stoney takes it out. And they're going to have to rush back. Jay Lynn knocking it up. Clearing it away. JP holds the zone. Under two minutes remaining. Just under two minutes remaining. Braided Axe knocks it in. Stoney makes a play on the tough hop. Clear it out. All sorts of action, much closer than the game at eight as this one fired in. And denied by Jalen. DJ the shot, saved by Jalen. And this one goes all the way back down, but Stoney is going to meet it head on. Minute and a half remaining. Braided Axe going to try taking it out. No, but DJ gonna fire it in. Stoney deflects it, keeps it away from defenders. DJ centering it maybe, but Jalen is going to make a play on it. DJ gets to it before Jalen to hold the zone. Stone D holds it. This one goes all the way down and off the crossbar just. And this shot covered by Brilax. Oh, could be some aerial dribbling. All sorts of action. No, played away. Just under a minute to go. Jalen, the shot scores! Jay Lynn just sneaks it by. And it is two to one with just 53 seconds remaining. Wow. This one gonna be fired in. DJ. Ayana needs to respond quickly. Time is not on their side. Is not a duck gonna clear it out. Braid it axe and take a shot! And he scores! An instant tack on. 
Just a nice play by Braided Axe. My goodness. Nobody was back in that. And the pinch proves costly. And Ziona is staring down another series deficit tonight. Stoney going to try and clear it out. Stoney in the corner. And Stoney just fires it high. JP going to try and center it, but to no avail. Stoney going to center it. Stoney going to try flipping it. Nope. Rated Axe makes the save. Ten seconds left on the clock. And as the clock ticks down, it is going to be another series deficit for the Iona Gales. My goodness. Well, it was kept close. It was tied until a minute remaining or just under a minute remaining until until Jalen came in with the go-ahead goal and Braden Axe with sort of attack on insurance goal to end things off. Two goals for Braden Axe as the Gales will look to even up this series of one and try to not come away from this night empty-handed. As kickoff in game two underway. As Jalen going to go into the corner and DJ gonna fire it down. Braided Axe though makes a nice play on it. Nice back check from VWU and they score Braided Axe. 18 seconds in, one nothing. A nice centering pass by Nada Duck. As the next kickoff, won by VWU, but DJ may be making something of it. Nope, just I. JP going to knock it in. JP centering it. Could be an opportunity, no, a nice defensive play. And this one goes all the way down, but goes wide. Not a duck. Maybe making something there, but it is going to be taken out by DJ, but it is wide. Maybe something, no. Cleared all the way down. DJ, braided axe, gonna fire it in. Two, nothing, VWU. As braided axe just Found a loose ball right there, and he just tucked it. More right-hand corner. As this kickoff takes a weird few bounces. Stone D gonna center it there, no. Stone D going to try centering it again, also no. DJ trying to take it out, JP demoed into the Iona zone. Jay Lynn gonna fire it, just Wide, but this shot. Nice rebound control from Iona. DJ going to try firing it in. But once again, back into the Iona zone. Looking to set something up. Jay Lynn, but stopped by Stoney. JP. Oh, but this one going to be off JP and into his own net. 3-0. Let's see if he needed to go for that. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's another own goal. That would have been wide. Just 3 11 remaining and oh. Ouch. Off the kickoff. Stundy just overshot it. And Jalen just just had a wide open net. 
My goodness. Another kickoff won by BWU, but Stone D plays it well. And this one fired all the way back in, but taken away here. Jay Lynn fires it again, and about a save by DJ. Trying to go for an opportunity, and they... No! Oh, Jay Lynn knocked it out of his own net. Or knocked it not out of his own net, but in the opposition's net. The best save we've seen all night, it came from the team who was trying to score. And Stoney going to fire it in. DJ maybe trying to take the lead pass somewhere. The centering pass, too hot. JP. Going to try making something of it, but he has to get back. Braided Axe. Can't get to it. Stone D demoed in this shot. A weird bounce goes high. Kept in by Braided Axe. Another centering try, and nope. Wide. JP. Oh, this centered shot. Save. Rebound. Somehow wouldn't go in. Braided Axe makes a nice play on it, but saved by Stondi. Stronger goalkeeping from the Gales here in the second half of this game. But still more offensive pressure from Virginia Wesleyan. As the ball gets into their zone for the first time in a minute as Braided Axe and a fire it all the way down, but JP gets to it pretty easily. But this shot... Would have ended up high anyways, but Stone D clears it away for good measure. And here's another centering pass, but too hot to handle. A Gale might have gotten a piece of it. Braided Axe gonna take it in. And this shot scores, not a duck, five, nothing. DJ sort of overcompensated on this on the attempt to save the ball. And just an unreal performance as another one almost gets put in. Just under a minute remaining, DJ going to try preventing a shutout here. There's JP tried to make something of it, but it is cleared away. Not a duck. Stopped by JP. Thrown in by DJ. The Gale's forced to chase this ball around as Virginia Wesleyan will clear it out. DJ onto the end boards, but Jay Lynn. Zone held by Stoney. Not a duck demoed. But with 10 remaining in game two, now five remaining in game two, and now a sixth goal in game two, six nothing. It is going to be two nothing in this series for Virginia Wesleyan, as Iona is staring down another three game sweep in out-of-conference play. With DJ going to try making something nice happen, but the ball hits the ground. That about does it. For game two, VWU takes a 2 nothing series lead. Two goals each make up the six for Virginia Wesleyan as they combined 13 shots to Iona's zero. They did not have a single shot on goal that entire game. Two goals, two assists for Nada, two goals, two assists for Brady Laxon, two goals and one assist for Jay Lynn and nothing from the Iona Gales. As we get ready for game three, Iona looking to stave off a sweep.
as we get ready for kickoff here in game three. And JP, oh my goodness, a defensive lapse on the kickoff, and Iona is going to take an early lead here in game three. I believe their first lead all night. And the kickoff, won by Iona, DJ going to take it in. But, oh, another shot saved by Stoney! He barely got enough of it, and another shot saved by Stoney. Iona buzzing a bit here. Stoney gonna fire it in? Nope. Played away by Naduck. But he is demoed by the captain, DJ. As this one gonna be fired in, DJ gets to it. Naduck gonna try going for something. Jaylin had his shot cleared away, but... He did end up demoing DJ. As VWU getting some pressure offensively in the first minute of this match. Stone D. Things that take a weird bounce, but Jay Lynn going to take it in. Not a duck. Sets up. But it is ultimately broken down by the Gales, but not for long. And the shot goes high. The rebound to keep the ball in the zone. Iona needing to play sharp defense, and so far they have. As Stone D gonna try making something, gets a boost. Takes it out. DJ keeping it in. Too hot for Stone D. DJ holds the zone. Stone D gonna fire it in. Deflected into the corner. Jay Lynn. Clears it out. Stoney is back there. Positioned well. But ball takes a weird bounce. But DJ gonna fire it down into the corner. Iona looking to set up. Bring it axe. Whipped on it! The shot just goes wide. As Jay Lynn is demoed. And the shot by Stoney! Scores! 2-0 Iona! Here in game three. A nice touch on the shot just to get it past Jay Lynn, who was positioned well. But Stone D shot was just a bit better. Stone D. A lot of action revolving him. Stone D going in again. Stone D stopped by Jay Lynn. DJ going to try making a play on it. But Stone D. Makes the play, but Braden going to fire it in, but JP meets him at the line. DJ into the corner. DJ trying to make something happen. DJ centers it. Shot goes wide. JP makes a nice play to hold the zone. DJ. Firing it in, trying to make some theatrics happen. Stoney trying to center it. Nobody there though. But the zone is held by DJ, and that shot just goes wide. Stoney trying to set up a play. But they get to it as two gales collide. Jay Lynn, the shot. Not a duck, fire just high. The rebound, played away. Not a duck, fires it in. 140 remaining. Jay Lynn fires it. Saved by Stoney. Braided Axe fires. Another stop by Stoney. Minute and a half to go. Stoney fires it wide. No, what am I talking about? Stoney wasn't even in the zone. I don't even know what's happening. So much chaos. Stoney trying to take it out. He does. DJ. Makes the play. JP saved by Nadaduck. Stoney trying to keep it in the zone. DJ does in the corner, but cleared away. Iona needs to get back. They do. Nadaduck, a shot saved by Stoney. He's been everywhere. JP 
Gonna try taking it out. Jalen holds it. And the shot. DJ goes all the way down. Saved by Nana Duck. Nice back check. Stone Deep tries to clear it away. 30 seconds remaining. Need a smooth landing here. 25 to go. Gonna be cleared out. Or not cleared out. Still in. Now. DJ is going to clear it out. Stone Deep. No, just wide. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight seconds on the clock. Six, five, and that is going to do it here in game three. The Gals. God, I need to make my call. And the Gals, they say, I didn't hear no bell. They stay alive here in this series against VWU. A pair of goals, a clean sheet, four saves, all by Stone D. Here in this one. My goodness, a way better game from the Gales than they have played in any game tonight in the Maryland set and in the VWU set. Stone D, a goal and an assist. JP, a goal and an assist. As the Gales try to push this series to a fifth game. My goodness. The energy going in Iona's favor. And kickoff will be taken in. There will be no goal off the kickoff this time. JP going to fire it in, but oh, just goes high. JP holding the zone. DJ going to maybe center it. Stone D, but it is blocked. Oh, a nice play by Stone D. Takes a good angle on it to hold it in the zone. Still holds it in, but Jay Lynn going to clear it out. JP the only one back there. JP needs to make a save, and he can't. Braided Axe will score. And Virginia Wesleyan has another lead. Nice touch on it. But JP really could have made that save, but the thing we can do about it now is one to nothing. Virginia Wesleyan. Stone D. Gonna try making a play on it. Relax. Centered. Just wide of his intended shooter as the shot goes high. But not a duck going to hold it in. Oh, this takes a big bounce. JP makes the save that time. DJ. And oh, Stoney just got to it barely. And oh, another shot stopped by DJ. Doing everything in their power to keep the score at 1 0. And oh, another weird angle. High danger opportunity now! Stopped by JP! Iona needing some offensive pressure here. And oh, shot goes wide. The rebound stopped by DJ. And this one fired all the way back! Now the duck can't get to it! Stoney ties it! What a sequence of events! The one counter shot that Iona gets and it goes in. My goodness. The kickoff ultimately won by Iona as Stoney gonna take it in. DJ going to hold it there, but Jalen is gonna fire it in. The shot goes wide, but it does take a favorable bounce. Could be shot, but it is whiffed. Jalen and easily stopped shot but Stone D fires it in again but Braided Axe does get to that one Stone D with a shot oh just off the crossbar
Stone D. Gonna fire it in. Stone D gonna try making the play himself. Stone D, another shot. Rebound. Ooh, still loose, but it is tucked into the corner. Stone D. Barely has any boost left for a play. Stone D gonna have to make it happen with the buttons. Oh, but a save by Stone D. Or not by Stone D. A save by someone else not named Stone D. Stone D isn't even on VWU, but all gonna be held in. DJ's shot stopped by Not a Duck. Pressure here from Iona. JP into the corner. And this one could be cleared out. It will be cleared out. Counterattack for VWU. Stopped by DJ. Oh, this one going into the corner. But Jalen gonna make a nice defensive play on it. JP gonna hold it in, however. Stone D can't get to it, but Not a Duck is demoed. DJ going to clear it in. Not a Duck fresh off the respawn. Going to clear it back out. JP making a play on, but the deflection! No! Stop by Stoney! Oh wow, what a save to keep this game tied! And this shot! No! Wouldn't go! Another rebound! They score! They finally cash in after all those borderline chances. Not a duck. At the goal line. What could end up being the series winning goal. But Iona has showed a lot of fight in these last two games. JP gonna fire it down. No. Stoney. Oh, but the shot. One minute remaining. The two on one and the shot. Nope. Stop by DJ. JP gonna go all the way down. No, Jalen makes just enough of a play on it, but JP gonna hold the zone, but Jalen gonna fire it in. Thirty seconds remaining. Here in this game, possibly in this series, Jalen fires it. 20 seconds left. Stone D gonna clear it out. Oh! Ooh! No! Oh, just off the crossbar! Stone D the rebound! No! Just goes high! And this one cleared in. DJ gonna fire it in the corner. Gonna be tucked in. Oh! Stays up! Can they get it down? And they do! A heartbreaking end to a great set that ended up becoming evenly matched after the first couple of games. So the Gales go 0 for 2 in their out of conference night tonight, and they now go to 1 and 6 in out of conference play on the season as Virginia Wesleyan two blowouts at first but then a couple of close ones that one of them Iona ended up winning but a second close one that ended in rather gut-wrenching fashion as with around 15 seconds left Iona had a good chance at tying it but the shot barely just went high and it came down to the last 30 seconds. Overall, a uh, lot of fight from the Gales in the final two games of that set. However, they will be back as um, from Cameron Mully. Um, I had a lot of fun hosting this tonight, doing more commentary. I plan to be doing more commentary for Iona's Rocket League team as they plan to defend their MAC championship, which they are still playing very well in Conference 2-0 on the season. And I will be back when they try to advance to 3-0. So from Cameron Woolley and everyone else who had stuff to do with this, take care, everyone. Good night.